Yo guys, this is Reinhardt, so you have a Russian talking and I want to make a quick video about how to fix the priority queue system in World of Warcraft and make it a lot more enjoyable for everybody, including giving a power to the player back in terms of their choice. So let's talk about it really quickly. First of all, the class design is astronomically fun. The pacing of the game in PvP is really good. Yes, sometimes it can be too fast paced, but at the same time, it never gets too dull and too boring like it was in Cataclysm or super, super high burst like it was the beginning of Map or Rats of Elegy. To me, it is amazing. And I'll be honest, you guys, if the class design like this would have stayed in Worlds of Draenor, I'd have never quit World of Warcraft. I want to play this game. However, there is a problem with accessibility right now. Problem is dreaded 30 minute queue times for your DPS classes. And the reason why this is not sustainable for anybody who is just like a not hardcore PvP is very simple. We're busy, we're dads, so we have families, we have real life jobs. If we have about two hours to play on a day to day basis, it is virtually impossible for us to spend one hour and 24 minutes worth of queue times just to have 36 minutes of this window of having fun we would move on to a different games that can't give us access to a faster queues. So let's use our superior math, not math, math skills to run a few scenarios and show you guys why I think this is a good way to fix the queue system. In order to do that, let's take a look at the scenario where we're gonna have four to one ratio, so one healer to four DPS, which statistically I think it makes more sense than not. And why? Well, if you guys think about it, each round takes about three minutes and that's before the losses. You're gonna have some pre-roll in the losses. You have a countdown in between the rounds and on average the pacing, it looks like the average round takes about three minutes. And there's a, if there's a total of six rounds, then the average match should take about 18 minutes to complete. Me personally, matches took for me anywhere between 12 to 20 25 minutes and if you queue times are usually around 18 to 20 minutes well that means that hey the dps outnumber the healers 4 to 1 ratio let's take a look at it in greater detail in this particular scenario we have six healers and 24 dps queuing at the same time the six killers will prompt the instant queue pop for about 12 dps so the 12 dps will be happy and proceeding with their match just the 12 dps have to wait for 18 minutes do some action house do some pointless quest or something that they're waiting till they can have fun. You know guys, mathematically, this is actually not that difficult problem to solve because if let's say we can create a system that inspires only one out of six, 16% of DPS population to roll the healers, you know what's gonna happen? In this particular scenario, it's gonna be happiness. Everybody is gonna get the instant queue. So the challenge is to create a system that inspires some of the DPS to roll the healers, so that's why the DPS queues are gonna be a little bit lighter, but there's also gonna be more healers queuing without any monetary or cosmetics or consumable incentives. Before everybody rages and says, well, why can't you just give healers more gold? Well, that might actually mess up the economy pretty badly. Star Wars The Old Republic is a great example. You give them extra crafting mats, well, then the whole crafting mats are gonna be devalued and it's gonna mess up the economy for crafters. And we cannot really come up with some really cool consumable mounts because once you get them, there's no incentive to play. So there has to be always a repeated incentive for the DPS players to roll healers. Introducing a priority queue system. How essentially the priority queue system is gonna work is very simple. Your DPS character receives a priority queues based on the numbers of games played and based on the number of wins that you participated as the healer. So let's take a look at the in-depth how the system is gonna work. So we have two healers and four DPS. Essentially each healer advances two DPS and gives them a faster queue times. So the suggestion is have the two DPS queue like they normally would without rolling healers, but then the other two DPS will get the priority queue pop. As you contribute for the other DPS players to have fun while you're healing, you accumulate the priority queues for your DPS class to play. However, the system is actually not gonna work until we introduce a couple rules to safeguard from potential abuses. So rule number one is wins only. The reason why we need that rule is very simple a lot of people who log on their alt healers will throw the games on purpose lose and then get priority queues for their dps to push rank ones and glads that way the system is going to be more taking than giving it's not going to work 
So this is the proposal way to arrange the wins here and a priority queues. So you guys know there is a potential seven outcomes of you going and queuing for ready soul shuffle. There's six and all, five and one, four and two, three and three, two and four, one and five, and zero and six. So let's say you did a fantastically, you did amazingly, and you either did six and all and five and one. Well, guess what? You will get two priority queues for your DPS. Let's say you did average, you tried your best, you did you went two and four, and the enemy healer went four and two. So they're kind of in the middle section. Then each and every healer will get one priority queue. And then if you lost completely, then just the enemy healer will get the priority queues. I told you I like mathematics, guys. Look at the golden number. The total priority queues that are gonna be advanced out of any single uh, rank solo shuffle round will always be two. And the DPS that are gonna be benefiting from this also gonna be two as well. So the wins are gonna take care of feeding on purpose to get the priority queues. However, we're still not done because there has to be a second rule, which is the queues on your healer have to be within two to 300 range of your DPS. And because if it's wins only, you still can log on your low rated healer, get the priority queues in a lower bracket, but still dominate and get the priority queues in the top bracket without contributing at all. The system will also fail at the top ranks. Rule number two essentially is very simple. You will get the priority queues up to your healer's rating plus 200. So for example, your 1800 healer will help a lot of people get to 2000 rating by contributing the queues. And then it can also give you priority queues on your DPS up to 2000 rating. And this happens all the time already. My 1780 Resto Druid went up against a 1950 guys, 2100 while being still stuck in 1800 bracket. Now, let's run a few examples and scenarios where this makes sense. And I want to bring an example of a Peekaboo, one of the best, I think, one of my most favorite World of Warcraft PvPers. So right now he's messing on his Hunter at approximately 2500 MMR, but he also have a Holy Paladin at 2365. So as Pika playing on his Paladin, he's gonna give his Hunter a priority queues. And this is where the system, I think, becomes very, very beautiful. So think about it this way. As Pika is pushing rank 1 on his Hunter, he is helping all the duelists get Gladiator 2400 on his Holy Paladin. The system and the way it's gonna work is you will be contributing first to the games of equal or very close to rating to your main, and then you're gonna cash out those extra Q times for yourself as well. Well, let's use my Rise TS as an example here. So my DK is right now is 1950 and my Rest of Druid is 1876. So, if I want to push my DK, for example, 2050 rating, well, I first will need to get 5 to 10 games in on my Rest of Druid at the similar MMR. I will contribute to other people pushing their ratings first before I can cash out and finally get some good nights to queue on my main DK. The beauty of the system is not only Peekaboo will have more control over his times played, but he also can contribute for other duelist people who don't who are stuck with those dreaded 30, 40 minute queue times, give them the chance to actually participate and get secure their glad title as he wants to push for the rank one on his main. And for sake of actually saving just space, there's it's not whole World of Warcraft Titans or contributors for PvP. There's a lot more newer and older channels, but here's what I think is gonna happen. As we're gonna be learning new classes and healers and everything else, we're gonna be constantly searching for guides, which will increase the viewership of all the content creators on YouTube and Twitch as well. Good example is I was wanting to learn how to play Rest of Druid. I watched Vinruki and Supertis playing on the Rest of Druid, having so much fun, I decided to roll one. And then I watched the guides of Emma Markers, which is absolutely phenomenal. And he actually pushed me from 1650 almost to 1900 on my Rest of Druid. With increased viewership on YouTube and Twitch, more viewers, Hopefully, we'll get more tournaments, more tournaments, more wins, more competitive overall environment, higher participation. That's also going to lead to higher potential BlizzCon pool money. But most about it is the players will have a choice in the So, matter. let's go over some really, really key benefits we're trying to get out of here. In order for your DPS to get a priority queues, and it can look something on the lines of very, very simple, guys. We can have it right over here. It will say a priority queue up to whatever rating of your healer plus, let's say, 200. So if my rest of Druid is 1876, I'll see a sign here, five priority queues up to 2076 rating. So the cool thing about the system, number one, you're not going to take until you contribute. Meaning as you contribute the healer games, 
you will get a chance to cash it out on your DPS. So you're gonna be learning two different systems. You're gonna be learning healing and the DPS. The second benefit, which is the biggest one, it will give players like myself, casual players who don't have the whole day to play this game, but only have to spend a couple hours, it'll give us a choice of what we wanna play and when we wanna play. And I think that's what has been stripped from World of Warcraft right now is the choice. Back in the day when I played Mr. Pandaria, I had a choice over my team, over my team name, over my team composition, and the strategies that we develop. A lot of that kind of flew out of the window with a solo queue shuffle. I think solo queue is a great addition to the game, but it also made the pre-made groups very mongoloid as well, with no communication at all whatsoever, which I'm very, very not used to, to be honest, as a returning World of Warcraft player. So you contribute, you take, right? Players will constantly get the uh, instant cues. They either get instant cues on their healers or DPS. So they're not gonna stand and wait in that dreadful 35, 40 minute queue time. People are gonna complain on the forums a whole lot less about the queue times now that they actually have directly ability to do something about it. But the best about it is I think that the top brackets are gonna get more competitive because of that. And I think just overall the health of the game is gonna go up. Guys, first of all, I do want to give a call out to a lot of YouTubers that kept making World of Warcraft content when I quit. You guys had the perseverance and strength to stick to the game when I actually give up on it and try to go and make life of myself outside the gaming. Kudos to you guys. I also want to give a call out to all the fresh WoW YouTubers that have popped out. You guys actually give a hope and chance for the returning YouTubers like myself to keep on making content. And last but not least, guys, I do need the community feedback on this really, really much so. I'm going to be posting the same video on the forums. I would love to see your support and your, uh, and your chance to see, hey, critique the system, whether it's good or not. Maybe it's not perfect, but I actually try to look at it from every single angle, potentially too, utilizing some of my math skills. But most importantly, this is something that I really, really want to get fi see fixed. I want to play this game a whole lot more. And please, if you guys don't mind, Show it to the other YouTubers, show it to Super T's, Vinruki, show it to some of the very smart veteran Rank 1 Gladiators and let me hear their perspective on this. Let me hear uh, what they actually have to say, let them critique it, make it, maybe make a reaction video or even just message me here on in a DM or here in a comment. What do you think about the system? Would that potential help and solve the issue anywhere from the Rank 1 pushes and get them the faster queues all the way down to helping a lot of players, a lot of returning and new players get faster cues and get better and better in the game much, much faster. And give power to the player to be your choice. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.